Expect more. This is Channel 6 News at 5. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. We begin tonight with a major break in the case of a murdered AT&T worker. This afternoon, police arrested a Waco man for the brutal 2016 killing of Kenneth Cleveland. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live at the McLennan County Jail, where the suspect is being booked right now. Jasmine, what's the latest? Well, Doug and Leslie, just moments ago, we obtained the search warrant that says that Zachary McKee stabbed, cut, and struck Cleveland multiple times before setting him on fire. The warrant says McKee was a suspect very early on in this investigation, and he actually confessed to the crime. Now, police say multiple law enforcement agencies helped their detectives build a case strong enough to get a warrant issued. As said before, Kenneth Cleveland was stabbed 13 times in the back of the head and neck. Since then, his children have been actively seeking to bring their father's killer to justice. Police say they're glad to have a suspect in custody, but there's still work to do. It was a long time coming, and we hope that this is something that can begin to be the road for closure for the family uh, of, of uh, the murder victim in this case. Um, still a long road to hoe. We've got a lot of work still left, but at least we have a suspect and we will soon be placing that individual behind bars. The family issued a statement to Channel 6 News saying, Our family is elated to hear of the arrest in our father's murder. We are all gathered together and still trying to process the news of the arrest. It is by no means closure, but a step in the right direction to start the healing process. Nothing will bring back our father, but we see comfort in the fact that he cannot hurt anyone else. Now the suspect Zachary McKee was brought back here to the McLennan County Jail a little earlier this afternoon from Falls County. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.